Hi, everybody. Ben Grove here with my top four match uh, from our October Cube League. Uh, this month in Cube League, we drafted Best Pal Al's Coin Flip Cube, a cube based around each player being able to decide their own coin flips, which leads to really cool cards that would never see the light of day getting to be used just because the coin flips actually work out for us this time. So here you can see the players who advanced to the top four. Um, we've got two players who I've already played in Swiss, um, but they're on the other side of the bracket. So Slight at 6-0 and with his Crobat and Cherim deck and Mysterious Player with his Bronze on Fortress spread deck um really a, it's really a cool checkmate deck but uh they're going to be duking it out in the other side of the bracket while myself and zach crackler are throwing it down his crobat and doug trio deck versus my altaria dragon deck um so i'll bring up a couple things here let's take a look at my deck um my deck is based around uh, the Draco Melody Altaria. Flip a coin of heads, search a deck for a dragon Pokemon, and put it onto your bench. And I'm going to be cheating into play this Dragonite uh, from Plasma Freeze, as well as the Sandflap Flygon from Primal Clash. And I've got a couple of uh, supporting basics that help get these guys powered up, since they can't be into play until turn 3. Um, so we've got Shaman to move some energy around. Unknown Y has a really cool uh, power to accelerate psychic energy from the deck to an unknown in play. Um, so we'll move those energy around. Selby Prime is also a great energy accelerator. So we're just looking to swing as hard as we can with uh, Dragonite and Flygon as quickly as we can. And that's what our deck is set up to do. Now, in the final round of Swiss, we played against Slight's Crobat deck. And the really cool thing is that, and, and I think this is a, a a really good selling point for this cube is the Crobat deck we're playing against this time around is completely different. Um, there is no Floet and Cherim backing it up. Instead, this time around, we've got um, a Doug Trio line backing up the Crobat. Um, and Doug Trio has the Poke Body Sinkhole. If your opponent's active Pokemon retreats, put two, two damage counters on that Pokemon. Um, and basically, this deck kind of revolves around the fact that a lot of the Crobat attacks are causing statuses that you want to switch out of. Um, the carry off Crobat here um, has the option to either do uh, 3 for 80 or 3 for Confuse and Poison. Um, either one is a really great one. Or. Then you also have the Flutter Trick Crobat, which can uh, Toxic Poison or uh, be Disruptive with Flutter Trick. Um, and the deck also really kind of leans into the, the Flutter Tricking as well. You've got um, this Peak Mankey to take a look at the top card of the player's deck and the Apom as well to move cards that are on the top of the deck. So there is, I think, an element in there uh, in this deck of wanting to really just brick your opponent. Um, and you've got Ace Trainer and Two Judge, as well as Jesse and James. <laughs> not a card, not a card seen too often, but each player just cards two cards from their hand. Um, so uh, Zach, I think here is really trying to really trying to brick me here. <laughs> um, uh, another couple interesting things that you'll see um, while while like. Uh, Slight stack, we have Forest of Giant Plants to really get the Crobats into play really fast. Um, there's also Cursed Stone. Um, and there I I haven't played against a Cursed Stone deck yet, um, but I have played against decks that spread damage counters around, and those are really tough for me because I want to have all these cute little 60 HP Pokemon sitting on my bench that have Poke Powers. And Cursed Stone, for those of you who don't know, at any time between turns, each player puts one damage counter on his or her Pokemon that has a Poke Power. So, Selby Prime dies in three turns if there's a Cursed Stone in play. So, it would be really, really dangerous. Um, otherwise, this deck's, this deck's got some really cool options, and uh, I, I can definitely see, well, it's it's definitely well built, why, why it has made it all the way to top four. Um, before we get into the game, I just want to remind everybody that uh, if you want to see more cube content like this, um, one thing that I'm doing is I'm I have created a Patreon here, and this Patreon it's it's not really to to 
go for me making any money here. It's just for me to kind of make my time worth it here for uh, making this cube content. I love cube and I know you guys do too. So um, I want to help just build the cube community by getting more cube content out there. So if you feel at all inclined to support me, um, come on in and join my Patreon and I'm cranking out cube videos. I'm starting to crank out some YouTube shorts as well. So, so yeah, let's, let's keep the cube content train running. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and hop in to the game. Starting off here, I win the coin toss, and I'm going to go first. My opening hand here that I see is pretty good. I mean, we've got we've got a Swablu, we've got an energy, and we've got a way to find it. Uh, find the Altaria for the next turn. My teleport is not the best way, but it is a way, so we'll take it. Um, we'll go ahead and get started. My opponent opens Lone Zubat. I draw a Pokeball at the top, which is even better than Night Teleporter. So I'll just go ahead, and on my first turn, I'm just gonna attach pass. I mean, this is my <laughs> this is my like standard turn one play. It's just attach pass with a small blue, and, and we feel really good about it. My opponent opens up with a attach pass of their own, and they'll go with for the poison spray onto my small blue. Um, I draw a judge off the top, which means I can use this Erica. I rarely want to use Erica if uh, if I if I don't have a judge in hand. And uh, we'll get the Pokeball and uh, use it to go ahead and go get that Altaria and start the Draco Melody Train. Now the interesting thing is here is I did miss uh, I did miss uh, a game-winning win here because I have Rainbow Energy in hand. I could have used Pokeball to get Azel for lockup, um, but uh, we just go ahead for the Draco Melody instead. Um, and before I do that, I will probably, I think, judge my opponent now that I've given them the Erica. Yep, I'm going to attach to the, uh, to the Altaria and judge. Um, and off that judge, I get a quick ball, which I'll go ahead and use to get Unknown Y. And I'm just kind of really going to set up my board here, ignoring the fact that I, uh, oh wait, I don't have Unknown Y. So I'll use Azelf to go get Unknown Y, I think is what I'll do. Yes. Use Azelf to go get Unknown Y. I think maybe at this point realizing, oh, I could have gotten the KO. <laughs> if I had only uh, been judicious and hoping that my judge is going to stick here so they don't have any uh, have any other backup Pokemon to, to go get. Um, I'm going to keep the disruption running and I'll use Draco Melody to go get Sandflap Flagon to keep their hand kind of locked down to, f to four cards. And... My opponent just has to go for the poison spray again. So, um, draw Knight Teleporter off the top, and that kind of will seal it because I can go ahead and guaranteed go get uh, go get Shaman to move that Psychic Energy. So I, I'm reading the Crobat. I'm like, oh, it has 40 HP. It's weak to Psychic. So I will just use Knight Teleporter to go ahead and get the Shaman and move that Psychic Energy over and lock up for KO. And that will seal up game one. Not a really fun interactive game, but we get the dub. So going into the second game, my opponent actually likes to go second, um, which is fine by me. Uh, I'm getting the dragons to play faster. So here I've got uh, Swablu and an energy and, an, and a computer search, so it uh, seems good to me. I do have the Dragonite in hand, so the Knight Teleporter is probably what I'm going to use actually instead of computer search, so that I actually shuffle the Dragonite back into the deck. Uh, my opponent starts with two Zubats, so that's better than one. Um, and right off the bat, since I've got Level Ball and computer search, I feel like I, I'm in a good spot where I can... Oh, and Knight Teleporter and computer search, so even, even if I get Flutter Trick this turn, I'm okay to go get Unknown Y and start accelerating some energy and I just yield and pass it over to my opponent. My opponent, interestingly enough, uh, attaches to the Bench Zubat in Night Teleporters, and I was very surprised by what they get here. Um, we go ahead and Night Teleporter for the Giovanni's theme. Not the card I was expecting. 
Um, and I think, okay, Giovanni Scheme to draw five cards. No, Giovanni Scheme to go in swinging and knock out my only uh, my only Swablu. Um, I think Zach here was going for just really aggressive and maybe keeping me out of the game and hopefully drawing something good off the prizes. Um, but unfortunately, I did have two Search My Deck for Anything cards in my hand. So I'll go ahead and use Yield on Run and Y um, before using Night Teleporter to go get Swoop Teleporter, or sorry, Computer Search to go get Swoop Teleporter, and then Night Teleporter for uh, for the uh, Altaria once I swoop that Unknown Y away for Swap. So I'm down to zero cards, and my opponent's down to one card in hand, but not too not too bad for me because I can just sand flat myself. I'm certainly not going to sand flat my opponent here, um, and. We don't have the right energy in play, but eh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. And my opponent, unfortunately, just has to draw and uh, Poison Fang. Um, I draw an energy off the top, really good. We'll start attaching the flag on, and I'll go ahead and sand flat myself. Um, nothing else thrilling here, so I'll just go ahead and Draco Melody for the Dragonite as Poison ticks up. My opponent draws another off the top, and they do get an Ultra Ball. And they're going to discard two energy that they had in hand to go get a uh, Golbat. Um, and evolve the bench Golbat and draw two cards. Um, these two cards, though, they need to find a lot. And they find Marley's Request, which is great, um, because they can put me in a position of... of having to put one good thing back in their hand. Now, the, the tricky thing that I do is I put Night Teleporter back, which is get anything for them. But with my hand, I have uh, I have Deafen, like, totally secured. So I can I can safely put back Night Teleporter and Deafen lock them out of using it, so keeping them really locked out of game. Um, I get Shaman, move the energy over, uh, attach for turn, and switch... And I've got the Deafen Lock with healing ready to go for next turn. And my opponent actually just scoops it up there. Um, nothing left in the hand, and Dragonite is ready to go. The main crucial difference between my uh, my opponent's deck here and my opponent's deck in round uh, five of Swiss is there's no way to buff up the Crobat's health. And the Crobat's all top out at 90 HP. So if I've got a Dragonite swinging in, it's kind of unsurmountable, um, especially from a board with no energy. Um, it's not the best spot for the Crobat to be in. So really kind of unfortunate for my opponent. I, I've, I've had that, that matchup turned out, but the 90 HP Mons, uh, my deck kind of beasts on them. So I really think this was a good matchup overall for me. Um, so yeah, we're, we're moving on to the finals. Um, and check back here for, for my finals content. Um, no spoilers on who, uh, who we're going to play against just yet, but, uh, check back here in a bit and, 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 uh, follow along with me into the finals. <laughs> 